previously on Heartland. I've decided to pursue the Maggie's franchise in New York. Huh. You know, this opportunity, it's the start of something big. You bought me a horse? Peter. Hey. Hi. Nice looking horse. Yeah, it's just a horse. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. Hey, Amy, how are you? You look a little tired. Actually, I'm, I'm great. I signed up for a prenatal class. I wish I could be there with you right now. Me too. Not happening. Dad, it's a job. I signed up for it months ago. I'm not going to let them down. When you signed up months ago, you weren't six months pregnant. How can you teach a clinic? You're not even allowed to ride. I don't need to ride, OK? It's a liberty clinic. I can do groundwork. And Karen knows I'm pregnant. She's fine with it. She's fine with it? I'm not fine with it. <sighs> Dad, you really need to stop this overprotective thing you've got going on. It's driving me crazy. I bet you haven't told Ty about this. No, but he has enough on his plate already. Dad, I've got a really busy morning. I've got to get to the doctor before I can even leave for this clinic. Good, good. You ask her what she thinks of you doing a clinic. I will. She'll say you're crazy. Just do what Amy does. It's like a dance. I know how to dance. I take lessons. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and plie. <laughs> good job. Hey, Katie. Hey, look, Monty likes to dance. Show your dance moves. Hey. Monty, no! Monty! Ow! You OK? I hurt my knee. OK, just stay there. I'll get Monty. No! Katie. Well, I agree with you. I don't think Amy should be dragging a trailer through the mountains on her own either, but. Haven't you heard of a thing called reverse psychology? The more you tell Amy she can't go, the more she's going to push to do it. So I'm supposed to tell her she can go? What kind of sense does that make? OK, I got a text from Lou. Huh? Big rainstorm in New York. Flights are backed up and delayed. It's not known when she will arrive. When's Peter supposed to get here? Well, sometime this afternoon, I think. He was vague. As usual? So you and I get to entertain the general until Lou gets here. And who knows when that'll be? That's just fantastic. I don't know. Maybe the less time those two spend together under one roof, the better, considering. Considering what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Stay with George, I'll get him. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, yeah. Come here, get back here. Hey, come here. Easy, easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, come on. Here you go. Here's your little monster. Monty, never do that again. Bad. Thanks, Mitch. Just glad I could help. Thank you. you saved Monty's life. <laughs> I discovered that I'm, I'm okay on my own. But I know something else, too. I don't want to do it on my own. Amy, I want to do it with you. Okay?
have a gift for you, too. You do? I do. Okay. You're gonna be a father. <laughs> really? Машина сабо! Машина сабо! We, we, we don't speak Mongolian. Yeah, we don't understand what you're saying. You'll understand if you listen. And it's good for you if you listen. Okay. We're, we're, we're listening. We can listen. We can listen a lot better if you just put your guns down. Are you doctors? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're animal doctors. A bear's been shot. A female. We saw it happen. We fired at the hunter, threatened him away, and his guy. But the bear is still there, dead. There was a cub, ran away, maybe wounded. Can, can you take us there? Ani gas. Nato to samung gaso. Money? No, we don't. We don't travel with any money. Are you sure? No money. No money, man. It's okay, man. Here we are. Well, wait, wait. We can pay you later, all right? Just tell us where the bear is so we can find the cup. We want to help. So Amy, the doctor's appointment, how'd it go? Really good. Yeah, everything's normal. And just so you know, I asked her and she's totally fine with me going to the clinic today. OK, good, you should go. <laughs> Why did you change your mind? You're a grown woman, you can make your own decisions. Thanks, Dad. You know how refreshing it is to hear you say that? Reverse psychology, please. Amy, listen to me. You are not driving into the mountains, pregnant. What happened to me making my own decisions? Yeah, well, forget that, OK? I'm going to change my schedule. I'll drive, no arguments. I can go, too, just in case any of the horses need to be ridden. Well, remember, your dad's coming today. Well, I'll just see him when I get back. Why does everyone have to make this so complicated? Amy, your dad, and Georgie just offered to help you out. Why don't you take advantage okay, of that? Okay, fine. Jeez. You're welcome. Let's go. Come on. Huh? Come on, let's get going. Amy, what time do you have to be there? We have plenty of time to get there, Dad. Just relax. And I don't know why we're bringing hay. They have plenty there. You never know these things. Thank you. You're welcome. So there's more sandwiches and fruit in there, because I know how hungry you get. Thank you, you two. But you didn't have to do this. I'm not an invalid. Can everybody please remember that? Yeah, you're not an invalid. Ugh, Dad, really? Four hours of this? Bye. Let's get going. All right. See you. All right. Mm. Safe travels. Okay, okay. Are you on there? See ya.
Okay, what do you say, you and me? We go inside, we figure out what to make your dad and mom for dinner. Mitch! Hey, kiddo. Ah! Hey, I'll, I'll watch her, Jax. No worries. <laughs> All looks the same. We gotta keep going. Like a needle in a haystack. Amy! Karen, it is so nice to see you again. Yes, it's been a while. There have been some changes. You look fabulous. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, let me help you with your horse. Oh, that's OK. I have plenty of extra help. This is Georgie, my niece. Hi. Nice to meet you. And my dad, Hi. Tim. Tim Fleming. Good to meet you both. Hey, I had a uh, an old rodeo buddy named Marty Shannon that lived on this road. Do you know if he's still here? He is. I know him and his wife really well. Dad, you should go see your buddy. No, you need me here. No, actually, I'm good. You're going to be bored out of your mind. You hate clinics. Well, hate's a strong word, honey. Dad, just go see your friend. You can pick us up after. We'll text you when we're done. You sure? Positive. Go. <laughs> today's clinic is to build a bond and create a strong and honest connection with your horse. Now, we form this connection through the use of Liberty work. In my opinion, Liberty training is the foundation of everything. Lay down. Oh boy. Knock. Daddy! Hi! Hey, can you cut? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, hi, Peter. Hey, Mitch, right? Daddy, look at Monty. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, yeah, he sure is. That is one fancy dancy hairdo he's got there, too. I got an idea. Why don't we saddle him up? I'll take you on a pony ride. I don't do pony rides anywhere, Daddy. Oh, well, OK, then let's go on a real ride. How about that? You don't know anything about riding horses. Mitch does. Mitch saved Monty's life this morning. Well, not, not exactly. He did, Daddy. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. I believe you. Hey, why don't you come inside with me, OK? Help me unpack. No, I want to stay here with Mitch. OK. Peter, how are you? Hey, good, good. So how was your flight? Oh, it was good, you know, up and down. <laughs> yeah, well, better luck than Lou. Why's that? No, big storm down east. It's messing up all the flights oh. in New York there. Um, Georgie around? Yeah, well, Georgie, she's helping Amy with the clinic up in the Kananaskis. Katie's here, did you see her? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's she's out in the barn with that ranch hand. Um, yeah. uh, so look, I'll, I'll just throw my stuff in Amy's room uh, until I know where I'm staying. Is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, thanks. This is Darby. Now I was speaking with Darby's owner Helen before the clinic, and she told me he is almost impossible to collect from the field. So we're gonna work with him today to see if we can get him over that. 
I brought along Georgie. Now Georgie is incredible with horses, but like you guys, she's new to Liberty work. She's just learning. So Georgie, now that he's kind of with you, I want you to bring him in and unclip his lead. Who? Oh. Now see if you can do the same thing, but with him going around you freely. That's it. There you go. You're turning into him a little. Keep your body open to him. Now see this, he's feeding off her body language and he's with her now, paying attention to all of her cues and signals. Now, when Helen or someone else goes to the field to collect him, Darby should be more willing to listen because he's aware of those simple and subtle cues that she's giving him. Okay, Georgie, when you're ready, call him in to you. Now that doesn't look like a horse that's gonna run away, does it? Perfect. Now I want you to back away from him slowly, but use your body language to keep him there. He's paying attention to you, he's focused, this is good. Okay, now call him to you. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, hey, Ty, stop. Does that look interesting? Well, it's something. Let's check it out. Amy? Amy Fleming? Yes. Oh, thank God you're still here. I am so sorry that I'm late. And the reason that I am late is the very problem that I'm hoping you can solve. I'm sorry, but the clinic's over. No. No, 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 you've got to help me. I'm desperate, please. Just look at my horse. My daughter and I can't do anything with him. What the heck's going on here? The animal's crazy. And who knew? When my daughter and I bought him, he seemed perfect. He was calm, he was easy to manage. And now he's the opposite. Unpredictable and just plain nasty. He bit my daughter last week. It's been my experience that sometimes certain horses are suited to certain owners. It's not always a horse problem, it's usually a people problem. 
anyone can fix this horse, you can. You're the miracle girl horse whisperer, aren't you? From what you've described, these things can't be solved overnight or at a clinic. You advertise as though that's the case. No, actually, I don't. Amy, I talked to you for a second. Excuse me. Yeah. It's getting late. I don't want to drive in the dark. Get rid of this woman and her horse. Dad, I would like to go too. But... Well, just tell her you can't do it, not in your condition. In my condition? Really? Please, just, just work with him. Female, just like those guys said. Shot to the heart, very professional. Look, prints, cup size, and blood. Looks like he was wounded and ran off. Guess our friends are right about that, too. Yeah. Let's grab some gear and track it. Yeah. Can't get Lou on the phone. She's not answering. Well, maybe she's on a plane. That's a good thing, isn't it? I don't know. Well, you don't know what? I think she's avoiding the issue. <laughs> What issue? Divorce papers. That issue. Well, there's a storm in New York. That doesn't mean that Lou's avoiding the issue. No, I've just been trying to nail her down with this for weeks now, though. I should have just mailed the things to her. Well, we did agree that we were going to sign them together in person. At least I think we did. <laughs> but it's tough when she's in New York. Well, yes. And it's to be expected. She's pretty darn busy. She's still in touch with the girls on a daily basis, though. That hasn't changed. Oh, that's good. I'm the only one she's out of touch with. Can Mitch stay for dinner? Um... Well, if your dad's here, I think he'd like to have you all to himself at dinner. No fair. trailered for? Uh, it took us a few hours to get here. Where do you keep them? You have a ranch or? In a stall. But you don't keep them in a stall all the time, do you? Pretty much. Uh, he's not good with the other horses in the field. He hates being hooped up in a stall and in a trailer. You just need to let him run. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Get! That's it, Georgie. Keep him going.
amazing. <laughs> absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing, Georgie. Great join up. Time to go. I realize miracles don't happen overnight, but can I bring him to your ranch? I have read all about Heartland online. All right, I'll work with him. I'll bring my trailer closer. We'll have way more trouble getting him into it than we did getting him out. Georgie, you were amazing. Thanks. How are you? I'm exhausted. Don't you dare tell my dad. <laughs> See anything? Nothing. The blood trail's gone. The blood probably coagulated. Just great news for the cub. So now what? Ty, look! Come on, okay. Oh, just step. Yeah. Get it. Where is she? I don't know. This is ridiculous. Come on, let's load. She's gone? She left without her horse. Call her. How? I don't have her number. This woman, whoever she was, she didn't pre-register. Everyone on this list did, and they all attended. And because she came in late, she didn't sign in? I guess not. I don't believe this. So there's no way of tracing her. I, I didn't even get her name or her horse's name. OK, like I said, it's time to go. We can't just leave this horse here. Maybe this was a big misunderstanding. Maybe she thought that we were taking her horse to Heartland. No, it wasn't a misunderstanding. The woman abandoned her horse to you. OK, so then he's my responsibility. We're taking him with us. Maybe she'll regret what she did and come pick him up. She knows where Heartland is. I'm sorry about this. It's not your fault there are crazies in this world. I promise that if I hear anything about this mystery woman, I'll let you know. Thanks, Karen. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Come on. Where'd he go? Hello. Oh. Dad, oh, stay back. <laughs> Dad, I know you're in a hurry, okay? Wait, please <laughs> stay back. You're stressing him out. Just let Georgie do it. Georgie. Oh, bye. Oh, oh. It's okay. Hey, hey. Okay. What? What is it? Nothing. I'm... Amy? It's just a little twinge. I'm okay. I warned you about getting near the horses today. I warned you. I'm fine. Okay. All right. It's getting late. I'm going to take a back road. It'll be a lot faster than taking the highway. Okay. I'm good.
Tim should be on his way back by now, but I can't seem to get a hold of any of them. Let's eat. The barbecue's on. Wait, wait, wait. Toronto? Lou, what are you doing in Toronto? I thought... No, I have two days off. I thought you wanted to sign these divorce papers together. Is that not what we... Okay. Yeah. No, I know it's not your fault. Okay. Next flight. Yeah. Bye. Mitch, please, please, Gigi say that Mitch can stay for dinner. Um, here's the invoice for the fee I picked up. Please. <sighs> Sorry, kid. I already ate. Mm -hmm. See ya. Kind of sneaky, wasn't it? You heard me when I said no the first time. You need to spend some time with your dad. I don't want to spend time with my dad. I want to spend time with Mitch. Well, guess who you're going to spend time with? Nobody. You can go to your room right now. Easier, what? Loopy as they come. Dad, look out. It's nothing. Just get out of the trailer. It's not safe. Please get back. Honey. Dad, we've got to do something. Honey, honey, honey. I've got to get him out. Georgie, get away from the rock slide. Come on. Can we still drive it out? No, no, we're not going anywhere now. Just, just, just get back. Thanks, both of you. Anything? Just disappeared. We lost it. Yeah. 
So Lou landed. She's in Calgary. Good. That's good. Where's Katie? Uh, Katie is sulking in her room. <laughs> ah, it appears as though I've completely lost my place in this family. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> But I guess it is tough when a marriage is breaking up and you live kind of far away from each other. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm... It's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Starting to hate birthdays. You can't tell me about it. I'd rather forget about them all together. But you're young. <laughs> I'm as old as I've ever felt. And as alone as I've ever felt. <laughs> well, then I gotta ask you, why are you pressuring Lou so hard to sign those divorce papers? I know, she might have mentioned it. Um, I don't know, I guess I, I just feel like if we just get it done, you know, that maybe that door closes and another one opens. Or maybe, you know, once Lou actually physically sees how final they are. You know, reconsider. Hey, is there something going on between her and Mitch? You know, Katie, she's all over him. And I, I... Oh, no. Katie's just, well, it's a kid thing. It's a hero worship. Apparently, he saved her pony from getting stuck in the pond, so it's nothing. Well, if there is something going on between Lou and Mitch, I don't know about it. Not that she'd say anything. Any service? Neither. How are you holding up? I just wish time was here. Uh, you have any more water? I'm all out. Look at that, man. Okay, girls. This is just what we're gonna do. The, um, the, um, the uh, saddles are locked in the trailer. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the horse, I'll take this horse, and we're gonna, we're gonna ride up, up to where uh, the ranch where you had the clinic. Dad, that's miles away. If I get a cell signal before then, I'll, I'll call for help, and, and everything will be fine. Stay off the road, okay? Because somebody's gonna come barreling around that corner. I gotta do. I haven't ridden bareback in a long time. Oh. Just stay away. Stay away from the rock slide, please. Get him out of there. Yeah, we do. Try to get 
shrink them, get them back to camp. Oh, I'm a better shot than you. We all know I've had a bit more practice, right? All right. these really weird cramps. Well, you're not... Is, is the baby okay? They're probably just these Braxton Hicks contraptions. I've had them before. So you didn't injure yourself when we... No. I'll be okay. I'll just... I gotta walk them off. See if I can get rid of them. Do you mind staying with him? Yeah, yes. Thanks. Back in range by now. What the heck is going on? I'll try Amy again. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I'm so glad to be home. What a nightmare. Uh, hi. You would not have believed the mess at the New York airport. And Toronto? Even worse. Straight to voicemail. What's going on? Hey, hey, whoa. It's okay. Once we get you back to Heartland, we'll never coop you up in a cell again, I promise. This is insane. Easy. Easy. What was I thinking? My dad was right. I should have should have never done that clinic. Look at this. And that woman, why, why did I listen to her? We didn't know she was gonna try to leave us with our horse. When has that ever happened to you? Never. Well, he's my responsibility now, and because of me, he's probably hurt. Listen to him. I know, I, I know. But there's nothing we can do about that right now, okay? It could have been a lot worse. No, no. Just, just breathe. Just breathe. Okay? 